And what is going on guys, Father Gamer here and welcome back to some more Blade and Sorcery. I hope you're ready because these 5 mods that I have for you today are going to make your game 10 times more gory than what it was before. So make sure you're comfortable, sit back and relax and let's go take a look. Okay, so the first one that we're checking out today is called Realistic Bleeding. Now what this does is add simulated blood so that every time you wound the NPC, you should actually see proper bleeding effects that look almost lifelike. And if you're wondering why things look a little bit bare right now, it's because I've had to uninstall my other gore mods just to make it so that I can show you what these do individually, if you know what I mean. So you can see that now she's bleeding from her face. And the blood's actually running down from where we injured her, down her body. It also drips onto the ground and onto us, the player, and onto objects. And this will happen from wherever we injure the NPCs. For example, if we just bash this one in the face a few times and we manage to use enough force, then her nose should start bleeding. This mod is a good choice for those that don't like to see lots and lots of blood, because a lot of the gore mods tend to make things a lot messier, whereas this one just makes it a little bit more realistic, adds a little bit more realism to the game. And another cool thing about it is if you manage to stab an NPC in the chest without killing them instantly, you still start bleeding out of their nose and their mouth, just like real life. This mod is what I would call one of my everyday mods, the ones I keep in between mod showcases. And I would highly recommend that if you guys haven't got this one for yourself yet, then you make sure you definitely do get it because it's a great mod and as far as I know it doesn't have any uh, compatibility issues with any other mods so it's really a great choice. And it's not too heavy which is why I chose to show this one first because from this moment onwards we are going to be getting a lot messier with our gory mod showcase. We're going to be moving on to the next one. Okay so the next mod we're looking at is the more blood mod. Now the first one we checked out made things a little bit more realistic. Now what this one does is make things a little bit messier. You can see that the pools of blood which are spawning from the NPCs are fairly larger than what they usually are. And that's pretty much all that this mod does. Is it, it makes it a little bit squirtier as well when you uh, slap and stab them. But mostly it just adds these larger pools of blood to make the game a lot messier. But I like to combine this one with realistic bleeding because I like having the realistic bleed effect as well as having the large pools of blood on the floor as if they're just bleeding out. And this mod is also customizable. You can also go into the settings, go into the files and change things like how long the blood pools last for and how big they are. Now there are actually a couple of more blood mods which share the same name. So I will leave a link in the description like always of all the mods that I showcase. So you can make sure that you go and download the one that I am featuring here. I do really enjoy mods like this that just make the game feel a little bit more immersive. Like, let's just try and make a bit of a bloodbath here actually. Let's get somebody else over here. Come here please. Okay, actually you'll do. Let's see, look at that. Look at all that blood. This is what you would expect to see if you was repeatedly stabbing a dude. <laughs> all that blood. Now we're talking. But I can promise you it doesn't end here guys, it's only going to get more and more gruesome from this point. So if you have a weak stomach, now might be the time for you to leave. But please don't, do stick around because the next mod is going to be quite bad. Like, if realistic bleeding was the light version, this is definitely the medium one. And the next one is going to be heavy. So, what do you say we go take a look at it? Okay, so the next mod we're checking out is the Gore Particle Overhaul, which adds mass amounts of gore to the game, <laughs> as you can see. So what this mod does is actually add four new gruesome blood particles to the game. Now I know that I actually covered this in a recent video, but that was for Nomad, and this is a gore video showcase, so of course I had to include it. I mean, just look at all the blood it adds. If you slice an NPC's throat or dismember them, you just get this huge fountain of blood. And if you stab them, you get a bit of a fountain squirt as well. And of course, if you use blunt damage and hit them, you get this little mist effect quite here as well. It really adds a lot to the game, especially if you're not squeamish and you want to see the devastation that you're causing like this. <laughs> Whoa, I love it. I absolutely love it. You get some really good shots, especially when you're up close. There are two versions available for this mod. The Bloodbath version, which is the one I'm using now, which is extra juicy. 
And then there's a light version, which is a little bit less blood to help with performance, of course. I think definitely going forward, I will be using the realistic bleeding mod, the more blood mod, and this draw overhaul mod at the same time in all of my videos because I really like how they all work together. They don't seem to conflict with each other and they all add their own little things such as the realistic bleed effect, the bigger blood pools, and then these huge fountains and gushes every time you hit them. I love it. It all goes well together. Oh god, that was a spoiler for the next mod. I shouldn't have done that. Stupid, stupid. Okay, so the next mod that we're checking out is the Headbreaker. This mod is excellent. It allows you to destroy enemy heads <laughs> and shatter their skulls into little pieces, which you can then pick up and do whatever you want with. Throw it at an NPC, put it in a stew, whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be up there with the most brutal and violent mark in Blade and Sorcery. Just look at it. You are disintegrating their skull. It's excellent. Brilliant. In fact, I want to put this to the test. In fact, there's something else you can do with this. If you just bear with me one moment and see if I can achieve this. Let's come to my experimentation table. Because if you're lucky, yes, you can get a brain intact and eat it, which will restore your health and stats. How cool is that? Let's just try that again. Maybe we can get another brain. Can we destroy her head with our bear punches? No, I don't have my divine strength and speed right now. You can break heads open like this. You can use heavy weapons. Or you could just go ahead and use a grommet mug. <laughs> Come here a second. Boom. Yeah, I was actually there to showcase this mod in one of my videos. So here we are, cracking open schools with it, quenching our first. It really has multiple uses. Let's just see if we can really take someone out of it a second. See how, how dangerous this can be. Our grommet mug. Can we break her skull? Ugh, yes! Okay, the most glorious mod on today's list, the Sliceable Torso mod. As you can guess, this mod will allow you to slice your NPCs in two. <laughs> Literally cut them in half. This has to be the most glorious mod on our list today, which is why I've left it till last. Because, as you can see, it's, uh, it's quite brutal. I love it, but it might not be for everyone. It's not, of course, the easiest thing to do. You have to get it in the right place. You can see here, we're going to hack away at this guy and it's not going to work for us now. But then, if we try really hard and believe in ourselves, maybe we can sometime today do it again, please? Yeah, oh, yes. Satisfaction. Dopamine rushing to my brain. Who would have thought I'd get so happy slicing a man in two? Oh, this mod is just excellent. If you have this mod, combined with the headbreaker, combined with the more blood mod, combined with realistic bleeding, you've just you've made Blade and Sorcery have a show. You've peaked when it comes to gore in Blade and Sorcery right now. And I think that's how I'm going to be keeping my mod set up for now. I'm going to be keeping these. Uh, I don't know, actually. I might not hold on to Sliceable Torso, torso the whole time, but I'll definitely have it come back. For a few videos here and there. Okay guys that's all I've got time for today. But as always if you like any of the mods that you've seen. You can find a link from down in the video description below. And of course if you've enjoyed my video. You can smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already. Subscribe for more. I'm Father Gamer. And I'll see you next time.